blah 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 A classic example of vegetable life, like my grandfather, for that matter. Now I know where to go when they kick me out of my rented apartment again. Yes, yes, the cooking area would fit just fine over here. The old lady's mask that this ticket vendor is wearing is the most disgusting one I've ever seen. First you asked me to carry a corpse, then a horrible old hag. I really don't envy your shrink. Use an old lady? But everyone knows that they are perfectly useless. Here's the candy, old lady. How did you know you needed candy? I hadn't told you yet. I'm not embarrassed to say that this is not the first time I've played. Now I understand. Well, you must certainly know then that you also have to be wearing a costume to enter. Hmm. Good evening, ma'am. Would you mind telling me about the good old days? Of course, young man. I am always happy to remember those years. There was no break from raising, raising ostriches, and I still hadn't had my liver transplant. And finally, I threw it all up on old Dick's crutches, including the bolts. Remarkable. Would you mind telling me more stories? I'll be darned. Somebody's interested in my life. Well, they were bright March days, and at that time I used to take walks under the willows until late in the evening. I'm about to have a breakdown. Are you talking to me? No, ma'am. No. Judging from his age, he could have known the great Archibald Wallen. Oh, old Archie. The wild times we used to have together. He was a really devoted and serious boy, with such a talent for personal hygiene. Uh, if only there were some like that today. Can you speak up a little? Even if some of his interests really didn't appeal to me, like his passion for wigs. By the way, how's he doing? He now lives in Washington under the false guise of the First Lady. It's not a surprise to me. I'd always suspected it wasn't a woman that broad. No, no. He was tragically killed by a meteorite while he was diving into a vat of sulfuric acid in a desperate attempt to defuse an H-bomb under the crossfire of 40 Cuban mercenaries. While he was diving into a vat of sulfuric acid in a desperate attempt to defuse an H-bomb under the crossfire of 40 Cuban mercenaries. <sighs> I can still see that scene. Seriously? No, he went out like a hero, fighting valiantly for his ideals. His love for wigs drove him to the coast of Black Africa, where a tribe of Kadai warriors, famous for being bald, were ignoring his lessons for many moons. He was then forced to intervene by force in the attempt to sew platinum blonde locks of hair on the tribal chief's head. He was immediately impaled in an inexplicable and totally exaggerated reaction by an extremist. It was only then that... Hey, wake up! What kind of manners are these? Uh, were you saying something? Yes, and it was quite important. You mean... Could I ask you a few questions about the people who have already entered? Just one, however. It's a question of professional reputation. 
Have you ever seen someone enter the park with something especially bulky? Like, what can I say, a fat violet dog? Have I ever seen what? I was wondering if you had ever seen someone suspicious. Yes, someone carrying a big shifting sack on his back. Oh no, I'd warned you before. You have already asked your question and you've used up your bonus. How much is admission? You have to pay $10,000 for the ticket, and not just that. If you want to be admitted to Halloween Park, you also have to take 25 pounds of enriched uranium and the skull of a stegosaurus. That's the price. What? Uh, uh, what? I was just kidding, Sonny. My contract requires me to say that line 20 times a day. Funny. See, I'm still laughing. <laughs> The park is almost free, except for one rule. It's the only park in the world where admission is paid in the form of glucose, mouth drops, suckers, candy. What's all the generosity about? I don't know, but it looks like the boss likes sugar more than gold. He must be a real pig. Or a real dummy. In any case, he pays me well. And even if gossiping is the justification for my existence, I prefer not to ask any questions. What kind of costume do you think I could wear? I'd advise you to wear an original costume, like the crushed armadillo or the flagellant friar. Do you think it'll rain tonight? The predictions are, as usual, incomprehensible. But I have a hunch. That pistol bullet stuck in my rectum is starting to hurt again. Kind lady, please note that I am a great detective. If you want me to believe you're already wearing a costume, just know that you can't get into the park wearing such a tacky costume. And then those spit stains on your tie. I understand. I'd better leave now. This smock does not need a wig. That bush is just what I need. <laughs> and now the last traces of my dignity are abandoning me. Here it is. I hope the fact they're dripping wet with my dog's saliva will not prevent me from entering the park. Not at all, little girl. <laughs> and now let me get rid of this. This apron is giving me hives. to see the Bearded Woman show. Oh, please, Timothy. I saw enough of them in jail. But what? How the devil do you turn this thing on? Welcome our guest of honor tonight at Halloween Park, the little big detective, Tony Tuff! Hey, that's me! And now, the gates are locked. Whether you like it or not, you're all going to be my guest tonight. It's going to be a long, dark night. I hope you'll all party like this is the last night of your lives! <laughs> That's easy. That's how I feel every night. I'm going to draw a map of these booths in my notebook and keep it up to date. To keep me from going crazy or, uh... Okay, here we go. 
There it is. Now let's get to work. There's no time to lose. Have to find Pantagruel and get back home in time for the next to last episode of my favorite do-it-yourself show. <laughs>